What's up everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the Psalms. Here we are on day 47, Psalm 47, for the choir director, a Psalm of the Sons of Korah. Oh, clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with the voice of joy. For Yahuwah Most High is to be feared a great king over all the earth. Proverbs 9.10 tells us, the fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So you have no understanding if you don't understand, if you don't have a relationship with God. And the only way to have a relationship with the Father, God, is through the Son. But to fear Yahuwah, to fear God, is the beginning of wisdom. Because if you don't fear God, you don't fear His judgments, you're not going to come to repentance. You don't fear doing what's wrong. And you're going to live in wickedness, which is foolishness. Oh, clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with a voice of joy. For Yahuwah Most High is to be feared a great king over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the glory of Jacob, whom he loves, Selah. God has ascended with a shout, Yahuwah, with the sound of a trumpet. And this is what we see in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 through 18. For the Lord himself, and Yahuwah himself, will descend from heaven with a shout. And this is Jesus. Jesus is the Lord. Will descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we always be with Yahuwah. Therefore comfort one another with these words. But we see in Psalm 47, God has ascended with a shout. Because he descends with the shout and with the sound of the trumpet, but also ascends back into the Father's house with his people. God has ascended with a shout, Yahuwah with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. And we see those praises all throughout the book of Revelation. After these things I looked and behold a great multitude which no one could count, from every nation and all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, and palm branches were in their hands. And they cry out with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen, blessing, and glory, and wisdom, and thanksgiving, and honor, and power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a skillful song. God reigns over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. Hallelujah. The princes of the people have assembled themselves as the people of the God of Abraham. For the shields of the earth belong to God. He is highly exalted. Hallelujah. Highly exalted. And this, this day is coming. This day is coming when God will descend and ascend with a shout and the sound of a trumpet. And that's Jesus coming to get his people. But when he comes to get his people, judgment is also coming down upon the planet. So whoever is left behind gets to feel his wrath. And if you're in Babylon... Babylon is left with no survivor. So, 
Repent and believe in the gospel. Call on Jesus while he may be found. It's about a relationship with him. It's not it's not a religion. It's about a relationship with the living God. We're almost there, brothers and sisters. Keep the faith. Stay strong. Endure to the end. Thanks for tuning in. Love you guys. Shalom.